Hello and welcome everyone to Anubhav Learning Series with AnubhavTrainings.com. In our this series of videos, we are learning how to build a Fiori application on top of SAP BTP Integration Suite Application Service. By far in this series of videos, we learned about our use case for this video series. We talked about how to create a destination which then can be useful to connect your sub account with a integration suite service in your own sub account or a different sub account. In our today's episode, we will start utilizing the BAS Studio, make use of our destination and then connect to our destination by calling our service. So what we want to do today, already we had created our application. So here we have our sub account where we have the integration flow. This will provide a HTTP endpoint. Please note that this HTTP endpoint is not a O data service. Now what we will do is we will use the business application studio today and we will first create a multi target application MTAR module. In this MTAR module, we will add a app router module to basically create a endpoint talking to our HTTP service. Now, what is an app router module? An app router module in SAP BTP Cloud Foundry environment works as a reverse proxy for your application. So you can have an app router and it can it has ability to route to different different services like let's say UI service for example a API service or for example a destination service to connect to destination and read the data from an external API. So this way the app router will work like a reverse proxy and helps us to avoid the course issues and get all the data. So it is a mandatory module in order to do cross service integration or cross microservice integration. So this will be our app router. It will also provide a single entry point from the user point of view. So whenever user access our application, they don't need to worry how many endpoints we have. They will only get a single endpoint which is app router. So first of all, we will be building the app router in today's class and then in the subsequent episodes, I will show you creating a UI module at later point of time. So let's create an app router and use our destination to create an endpoint to test our application. Yes, so I will switch over back to our business application studio. This is our BAS tool and here we create a new project from template. We will choose basic multi-target application and we will give a project name. Let's say Anubhav CPI app click on finish that creates our first multi-target application in SAP BTP. Very nice. It has got a MTA YAML file which is good. Now we will add our app router module. Please note SAP BTP offer two types of app routers. The managed app router and which is managed by SAP BTP environment itself and a standalone app router which we as a developer will manage. So I will be creating now a MTA module from template and for this scenario we will be using standalone app router only. So we choose app router configuration click on next and we will choose here the standalone app router. Would you like to add authentication? Yes. Do you also plan to add a Fiori UI? Yes, definitely in the future we'll add a Fiori UI. I click on next button. You will see that an app router module have been added. The purpose of this app router module will be to, to be used using this and making a redirection to our service which we created. Now before we actually integrate our service endpoint in the app router, let us quickly go back and test our destination which we created in the last episode. So in the last episode, I created this integration suite destination. I would like to quickly test it from my BAS Studio. So to do that, we can just open a terminal. And inside the terminal, we can test any destination using curl command. 
so we use curl http destination name we will paste it dot dest slash my endpoint so what's my endpoint if you go back to postman this is my integration suite cpi endpoint http test dash api so we put that endpoint so what we are saying we are making a rest call from the terminal to use this destination and basically get the data from here now basically at the moment if you see it's a post call it only works with a post call doesn't work with a get call so perhaps if i run this i may get this issue but this issue itself is saying a lot what it is saying it's saying the mpl id for failed messages this message only and only comes when there is a cpi endpoint for post but you try to make a get yeah but you try to make a get so when you try to make a get on a cpi endpoint which supports a post it reached to the cpi it reached to the integration suite but integration suite is responding back to you with this id yes so this is a proof that our destination at least is able to communicate us to the integration suite which is good enough for us to get started so this is a, a quick test for your destination if there would have been a get call in the cpi then this would have given the response back to you yeah which is cool so this way you can quickly test your destination now what we will do we will define a app router configuration using access app json file where we will be defining our routes so what we will be now doing we will go ahead and define routes for getting the data for our uh, for from our destination and then of course we will be deploying it so what i will do is i will just go ahead and add here the couple of routes so that we will be able to communicate to our destination which we created for integration destination plus we would also like to serve the sap ui5 uh, sdk sap ui5 framework for building our ui module later on plus we will also create a fury app at later point of time for that fury app also we will have to serve a, a server endpoint so all of that we need to do it basically so what i will do is i have prepared already a code which i just paste it here and i explain that code to you so you can see this is my code and first of all i have authentication method as root so whenever somebody call my app router the job of the router is to root yeah now we will use right now the authentication type as none later on we'll change it to access uaa for security reasons now the first source is if somebody call the app router and they call this endpoint slash http it should redirect to my destination and what's my destination name it is this one which i will edit i will also give you the link in the description of this video where you can go and find the complete source code of our current application this complete application will be available to you to download it for free and use it in your company now this is the first step of destination configuration next in order to build a fury ui we would need ui5 sdk for that also we added the endpoints and then finally our fury application will be residing in something called html5 repository for that also we have added here a access uaa basically access uaa is a um, is a security service through the help of that it will authenticate by itself and then it will ultimately go to html5 repository runtime so what happens is whenever a user want to access your application they will always call the app router and when user make a call with slash http which means user want to access api it will call our destination service and through the destination service it will call the cpi endpoint whenever user say any other endpoint basically they want to access the fury ui then it will call the html5 repo runtime service that service will invoke a html5 repository present in the cloud foundry and in this repository we have our fury apps so all the fury apps are part of this repository so this service will then give you the access to the html5 repository so this is what all in all we would ultimately need plus it is extremely important to serve these endpoints via destination you have to also create a destination service 
and bind the destination service instance with our app router without which you will not be allowed and you will not be able to communicate you will not be able to communicate to the uh, to the uh, destinations yes so we will basically add a resource which will be a destination service and that destination service will allow us to read the data okay so where do you do that to be able to do that we need to go to mta yaml file and in the mta yaml file you can see right now we have our app router module our ui deployer module our runtime app and our repo host we need to also add a new entry here for our destination service a destination service in sap btp always allows you to communicate and load the data from the system yeah from the different system so we will be adding that now so i will integrate that so this is our destination service which we are attaching here as a resource and what i'm telling is please create this destination service automatically it is fully managed by cloud foundry i will manually not create it so whenever i deploy application to production this will also get created automatically in the production environment we will now bind this with our app router as a required resource and we are good so that is the app router configuration access app json plus we have got the mta yaml where we bind our service so next step will be to deploy our app router standalone so to be able to do that we have to build our application so let me right click and say build mta project and then we will deploy our app router to the system so i am building the application the mta archive file gets created and let's deploy so to deploy we go back and we do cf login and then we are going to pass and then enter email id password dev space and we do the deployment cf deploy mta archive slash the mtar file so you can see the app router is now deploying and in the next episode i will show you the deployed app router and we will test our app router ultimately once we test our app router next step will be to add our ui module all right thank you so much once again for joining this episode with me on anuboutrainings.com for in more interesting videos like this please like share and subscribe this channel kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified for free content like this in the future please do share this channel in the whatsapp group or over the email with your colleagues so they can also take advantage of this free content with anuboutrainings.com once again thank you so much for watching anubhav signing out have a nice day and goodbye